Baidu, the Chinese internet giant, has recently announced that it will use artificial intelligence AI chips from Huawei, the telecom equipment maker, for its cloud computing services. This is a significant move that reflects the growing domestic demand for Huawei's products amid the U.S. sanctions and restrictions on its global business. Huawei has been developing its own AI chips since 2018, when it launched the Ascend series of processors. These chips are designed to power various AI applications, such as computer vision, natural language processing, and machine learning. Huawei claims that its chips are more energy efficient and cost effective than those of its competitors, such as NVIDIA, the US-based leader in the AI chip market. Baidu is not the only Chinese company that has turned to Huawei for its AI needs. In September, Alibaba, another Chinese internet giant, also announced that it would use Huawei's chips for its cloud services. Tencent, the social media and gaming behemoth, has also expressed interest in Huawei's AI products. These moves indicate that Huawei is gaining power in the domestic market, as more Chinese companies seek to reduce their reliance on foreign suppliers and support local innovation. The U.S. government has been putting pressure on Huawei since 2019, when it added the company to its entity list, which bans U.S. firms from doing business with it without a special license. The U.S. accuses Huawei of posing a national security threat and violating sanctions. Huawei denies these allegations and says it operates independently from the Chinese government. U.S. will face more challenges in maintaining its technological edge over China in the field of AI, which is widely regarded as a key factor for future economic and military competitiveness. Huawei has been investing heavily in developing its own AI chips. Baidu's decision to use Huawei's chips for its AI projects, such as its Apollo self-driving platform and its Duo OS voice assistant, could boost Huawei's reputation and market share in the AI industry, both in China and abroad. Another possible implication is that the U.S. will have less leverage over China in terms of trade and diplomacy as China becomes more self-reliant and less dependent on U.S. suppliers for its technological needs. The U.S. has been using its export controls and sanctions as a tool to pressure China on various issues. However, if China can find alternative sources or develop its own capabilities for its critical technologies, such as AI chips, it may be less responsive to U.S. demands and more assertive in pursuing its own interests. The U.S. pressure has also affected Huawei's customers and partners around the world who have faced difficulties in accessing Huawei's products and services. For example, many countries have banned or restricted Huawei's involvement in their 5G networks, following the U.S. lead. Some of Huawei's chip suppliers, such as Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing company TSMC, have also stopped taking orders from Huawei due to the U.S. restrictions. As a result, Huawei has been forced to adapt to the changing environment and focus more on its domestic market and self-reliance. The company has invested heavily in research and development, especially in areas such as AI, cloud computing, and 5G. It has also expanded its product portfolio to include not only smartphones and telecom equipment, but also laptops, tablets, smart TVs, smartwatches, and smart cars. Huawei's efforts seem to be paying off, as it has reported strong growth in its revenue and market share in China, despite the global challenges. According to a report by Canalis, a market research firm, Huawei accounted for 45% of China's smartphone shipments in the third quarter of 2020, up from 34% a year ago. It also ranked first in China's cloud infrastructure market in the first half of 2020, with a 15% share, according to IDC, another market research firm. Huawei's success in China may also inspire other Chinese companies to follow suit and embrace its products and services as an alternative to those of foreign rivals. This could create a positive feedback loop that strengthens Huawei's position and influence in the domestic market and beyond. In conclusion, Baidu's decision to use Huawei's AI chips for its cloud services is a sign of the changing dynamics in China's tech industry, as well as the impact of the U.S. pressure on Huawei's global business. By choosing Huawei over NVIDIA, Baidu is not only supporting a local partner, but also gaining access to a competitive and innovative technology 
that could enhance its own AI capabilities and offerings. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and be sure to subscribe. I would appreciate it.